Andy Kaufman is with us tonight, and uh, Andy has... Uh, <laughs> it's a little difficult to explain what Andy does. Uh, he, he will do it when he comes out, and in his continuing effort to succeed in show business, he's finished taping his very first television special for another network. Would you welcome Andy Kaufman? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I would like to tell the story of the, this aeroplane, and it was going to, to sink. So they had to get rid of uh, some people. So first, this man from Texas, he jumped out of the aeroplane. And as he jumped out, he said, remember the Alamo. And, and then the second man, he was from France. So as he jumped, he said, Viva la France. <laughs> so, so wait, wait. So, <laughs> so, the, so then the, the, uh, the, the man, it was only a man from England and a man from New York. So the man from England pushed out the man from New York. And as he pushed him, he said, uh, something that it, it was very funny, but uh, I don't remember what it was. <laughs> but, uh, but it was very funny. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> right now, I would like to do for you some imitations. So first, I would like to imitate Muhammad Ali. Oh. I am so pretty. I am, I am going to, to float like a butterfly. I'm sting like, like a bee. Going to knock him out. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> and now I, I would like to imitate James Cagney. <laughs> you, you dirty rat. You dirty rat. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> and now, last, but not to be the least, I would like to imitate the Elvis Presley. You can all just stare at me while I catch my breath. I'd like to do one of my biggest records for you. Of course, all of them are the same size. One of the first songs I ever recorded was back in 1927, I think it was. It went something like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Well, it's a one for the money, two for the show, three to get a red, and I go, can go, but don't you step on my way. Well, you can do anything, but it's hell for my 
Thank you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, so far, everything I've done for you tonight, really, I'm only fooling. This is really me. And right now, may I please have my clothes back? <laughs> Come back and talk, okay? okay. There we are, Annie. Right back. <laughs> First time I saw you with was Harvey Corman. I think it was down at the uh, improvisation on, yeah. on Santa Monica? No, on Melrose. On Melrose? And yeah. I saw you do that for the first time. That's a good impression. Was that one of the first things you did? Well, that was, that's the only impression I do. The only real, <laughs> yeah, for real? Because, huh? Yeah, when I was, ever since I was seven, I really liked Elvis Presley, and yeah. I would stay in my room and imitate him, play his records and make believe I was him. And, uh, when I was about 20, I was in college, and I was walking down the street, and um, the college was having a, what was called the Soul Time Review. It was a talent show, an all, all-black talent show. So the people who were putting it together came up to me and said, you know, they would laugh at me all the time. I don't know why, but yeah. I, I would, people, they'd always laugh at me. So the, um, they came up to me and said, Andy, how would you like to do a little something for our talent show? And I said, well, I don't know how to do anything, but what I do in my room, so I... Yeah. <laughs> I imitated, I went on and I imitated Elvis right, Presley. Right. They all thought, you know, they were calling me, they said I was the uh, comedy relief and the token white buffoon. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they called me. Yeah. And uh, they thought it was really going to be a bomb. Yeah. And they liked it. Well, you so probably just smashed the show. Yeah, they, I just went up there and imitated Elvis Presley and they really liked it. And that's Now, the last time you sat here, you came over in the panel, you had done the, the voice that you, that you opened with. And a yeah. lot of people said, Tell me about Andy Kaufman. Where's he from? They, they were buying the fact that you were from some foreign country. Yeah. Do you get away with that when, whenever you go? Do you go well, into yeah, that like step to... into that character? Sure. Do you I like feel to... more secure? Well, sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, I like to walk around and, and uh, do different characters, and that's one of my favorite characters. Yeah. And, you know, in New York, where I'm from, you can... <laughs> and you could... You could walk around the streets of New York City and be any, just any kind of character. I would go, like, every block. Like, they wouldn't even square. notice they it don't, in New York. No, and they, and they just think that you're for real. So, like, last year when I was walking down in Times Square and, you know, they have the, <coughs> these things called massage parlors. Yes, I've heard of them. <laughs> and uh, this man was giving out cards and saying, come on up to the massage parlor. And I said, so I said, well, what, what is this? And he said, oh, sorry, Paul. I said, but what, what is it? And he said, hey, go up there and you'll be with a pretty lady. And they had a picture outside of this uh, beautiful movie star. I don't know who she was, but she was a very famous, beautiful movie star. Yeah. And you know that she wouldn't feel... She was not up there. <laughs> so uh, I said, well, could I, could I get with this lady? And he said, uh, he said, yeah, she's up there. You go up. Well, I have been a fan of her so long. I, I want to meet her, uh, get autograph. She, he said, sure, sure. You go up there and uh, you'll meet her. So... Uh, I went up the stairs and I said, "Hello, I went to I went to, to meet the, the lady." And the man said, "What do you want? What do you want?" And um, <laughs> I went to meet the lady in the in the picture downstairs. The man said, "I could come up have a free look." 
So, um, all right, all right, I'll bring her out, I'll bring her out. So this lady, she was kind of uh, fat, yeah. you know, and, and she didn't, she had black hair and she didn't look anything like the lady, the lady in the picture. No. So uh, she came out and she was smiling. Oh, are you the lady in the, in the picture? She said, yeah, I'm the lady in the picture. So, uh, so um, I said, could I please have your autograph because I've always wanted to meet you. I'm such a big fan of you. And she was so touched because no one ever uh, looked at her like this before. She gave me her autograph. She, gave, she wrote, dear Andy, best wishes. Thank you very much. Good luck. Uh, everything that you're, you can oh. think of to write in an autograph. And she signed her name. And, That's kind of nice. I said, thank you very much. And what, what, what now? And she said, well, you come back when you have some money. I said, all right, when I have some money, I come back, you can give me a massage. And she said, OK. And I walked away, and, and she was very happy. So you have a standing invitation there, in case yeah. you go back. <laughs> <laughs> or a lying down invitation, one of the two. Uh, you want me but to do a commercial? But she was very happy. Are, you gonna do, are these ears out here? Yes. Those, those drums? Uh -huh. Are you going to do something uh, sure. special tonight? Uh-huh. You want to do it now? OK. If you feel like it, I mean, okay. sure, anytime, man. Okay, this is a song that they sing, seriously, this is a song that they sing every year at harvest time in the islands of the Caspian Sea. Yeah, but don't let me let you be too far. 